Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about setting up Windows Subsystem for Linux on Windows 10, and I set up Ubuntu on that. I'll put a link in the description to that video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about updating Ubuntu on Windows Subsystem for Linux. So this is mainly for people that use Windows and aren't as familiar with Linux. If you know Linux, you probably already know how to do this. So I'm going to go down to the search, and I'm just going to open up my Bash shell. I'll just type Bash, and here we're in the Linux system. So I'm going to type CD just to go back to my home directory. I can clear the screen. You want to type sudo space apt space update. Hit enter. It'll ask you for your password. Okay, so that updated the package list in Linux, and that is like the list of software that you can install. So I'll clear the screen here. I'll type sudo space apt space upgrade. We'll hit enter, and it says the following packages will be upgraded, and it lists those out, and we can type yes, and I'll hit enter, and now it will download and install all of those updates. Okay, so that is completed now. So the system is up to date. One thing you can do sometimes, I'll clear the screen here, is you can do sudo space app space auto remove. So that will find any dependencies that are no longer used in the system. If any showed up here, it would ask me if I want to remove them. I would hit yes, and it would remove those. So that's all for this video. Like I said, this would be basic for uh, you know, a Linux veteran, but if you're using Windows and you're just getting into Linux, I just want to let you know how you update the system. It's super easy. And usually it's very reliable. I can't think of a time I've ever had this fail. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.